Hello everyone, welcome to day 51 of the 90 day volunteer recruiting challenge. My name is Kenny Connolly. I'm the next gen pastor at Ridge Community Church in Blue Ridge, Georgia. A little bit of an update. Yesterday I gave an update that I did not grow my list by any new volunteers. Um, and I hinted to the fact that um, we actually probably took a step backwards. And so today I'm gonna to take the opportunity to kind of tell you like what that actually looks like and uh, how many I've lost. And so I'm doing a little subtraction today, which is frustrating and disappointing. But like I told you before, every, every time I gave an update, I gave you a total number of people that I added to my list. And I told you the fine uh, tooth comb number of like what was a realistic number. I'm basically editing that number. So these are most of these are people that I added to the list, and they were probably more hopeful. And now I'm taking the uh, the re the reality, you know, knife to the to the list, and I'm cutting out the people that aren't probably going to be volunteers. So I'm officially removing. Uh, seven people from my list, okay? Seven people from my list. Um, six of those people never came to a volunteer uh, orientation. They were people that I added to my list. Um, some of them were like siblings of another volunteer that were likely going to come and then they never showed up and they still have never come. Uh, some of them were people that I had conversations with um, and they just didn't amount to anything. Uh, one of those seven, actually came to my very first volunteer orientation. It was a sixth grade, um, new promoted sixth grader who was very interested in serving, but could never turn in the application, never fill out the application. Multiple attempts made to get them over that line and it never happened. So removing seven people from my list. I'm also, uh, there is another volunteer that came to one of my early volunteer orientations uh, completed the process and mostly finished onboarding and did two or three observations, but then missed several weekends, like would call out the day before multiple times or no showed. And then finally they let us know, this person let us know that they were going to church with their parents and in a, at another church. So that person's out. And then, uh, so we're down one more person there. That was somebody that we recruited in this challenge. I'm also down two volunteers. I've got a, a couple for two different reasons. They both had to step out and just for family reasons. They will more than likely be back, but I am going to remove them from my list because they're not currently volunteering and they probably won't be for the next two to three or even more months. So pretty big step. So for the for the challenge, two of those volunteers were current volunteers that stepped away. That doesn't really affect this challenge or this list. That affects my, my original volunteer recruiting list. But uh, seven people, uh, or no, it's actually eight people, because one volunteer made it through the, mostly made it through the onboarding process. Um, eight people stepping back from my list. So, so where I was last week, with 39 likely, it doesn't change it. Next Monday, uh, I'll give a solid update of where I am, minus these people that I just took away. So it's part of the process. I've been very optimistic this whole way for over 50 days of here's my list, here's my list, here's my list, here are the people on my list, and now I'm editing my list. So not necessarily a negative, nothing negative happened, but this is just, I'm making this list. As we're heading into the last month of the challenge, we're gonna have a cleaner, clearer list of where I actually am volunteer wise and how close I am to the goal. And you'll get that update next Monday. So what about you? What does your list look like? How's it coming? Uh, what's the real list and what's the um, optimistic list for you?